Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at everything that you need to expect or look out for when it comes to love and relationships. Um, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it cannot resonate for every single Libra 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Um, this will be a reading for those of you that are already in a connection or, you know, you might be completely single. It all depends on what comes out. In the cards um, check out your other placements as well your moon your rising sign your Venus sign any other sign of significance um, for additional messages sometimes those can resonate more I have all of the playlists linked in the description box um, so you can check out those other messages so let's jump right in for Libra for Libra spirits angels guides what messages what guidance do you have for Libra regarding love, relationships? All right, so let's see. What do we have for you, Libra? What can you expect in love? We have the judgment card here. Judgment is such a big card. And five of swords. Okay. So something big is happening in terms of um, how you view a particular situation how you view a particular person uh, I, this is something that could have happened in your past because judgment you look at the past you analyze the past you learn from what you've been through and you have a realization and awakening about that that's what judgment is about so the fact that judgment is here with the five of swords is almost like you're having some sort of realization about someone else's actions someone that didn't play fair that wasn't didn't treat you right that could have been deceptive what do we need to know about this or any past energies that could be influencing uh what you can expect we have the queen of cups reverse and the ten of cups so complete opposites here or it could be that someone is putting up a front they're appearing like everything's hunky-dory but really they are uh disappointed heartbroken with the Queen of Cups reversed. This could also be um, that someone's emotions are blocked, their intuition could be blocked, and they can't really see clearly. And so something could appear to be a Ten of Cups, but it's not really that. How are you, um, what are your energies? How are you feeling here? Strength and the High Priest is reversed. Leo energy, the High Priest is reversed is something that has come out, come to the surface. You, yeah, you've realized something with the high priestess reverse judgment. Sorry, I think I hit the tripod. Um, so these are your energies, um, how you're feeling, where you're at energetically. So what about the other person? This could be a person you've dealt with in the past or currently dealing with or could deal with in the future. Nine of wands reverse. Nine of pentacles reverse. Oops. This person to me um, could be insecure. Why am I picking that up? I don't know. There's something a bit off here. The Nine of Wands reverse could be a card about someone that no longer wants to be defensive guarded. Is no longer, you know, in this paranoid state of mind um instead of holding on and dealing with something even though it hurts or is difficult they kind of give up or tend to give up and then the knight of pentacles reverses someone that is not free not independent not secure not doing well They're dependent on someone else. They rely on others. But I, I also see the Nine of Pentacles reverse as someone that's insecure. So we'll have to dig deep into your person here and get some insight there. Or at least clarify some of these. What do you need to know what's hidden from you? The King of Cups, Page of Cups reverse. Again, with the same energy. So what you need to know is that someone is still emotionally invested despite being disappointed. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, 
And where's all of this headed in the near future? What can you expect in the near future? Three of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, so um, some sort of interference here with another person or uh, it could be a fight, a verbal fight. Um, someone could send you a message or, or say something really um, in, a, in a blunt, an unnecessarily blunt way. The Knight of Swords reverse. Or this could be that someone is preventing a message from getting out. I think a lot of you, there's someone probably around you that you can't really trust. Because I have the Five of Swords here, the High Priest is reverse, and then the Knight of Swords reverse. So it's like someone has kept something from you and you're, tr you're figuring this out, or you're realizing that someone wasn't a good person. Okay, why is all of this happening? Um, the root, the foundation at the bottom of the deck. Six of Wands reverse. So something's not successful. Um, success could be delayed. It could be that um, someone's not being recognized for their efforts. The tower is reversed after that. I almost pick up with the tower reverse like a tower happened. Uh, and someone's still dealing with it and perhaps isn't able to really, like maybe something's not complete, the tower's not completely done is kind of what I'm feeling from that energy. So let's clarify. Let's see what all of this is about. We have some clarity inside for Libra. Could also be um, dealing with a person that you haven't met yet like this could be the person coming into your life even though I don't really I, I'm not getting clear energy here so I kind of want to see what that's all about and of course feel free to flip the energies um, if they resonate more for you oh gosh hold on I'm gonna put that back because I haven't really asked my question yet but the knight of cups okay let's look at the root the foundation why everything is happening first the six of wands reverse why is the six of wands reverse why is the six of wands reverse the high priestess yeah so the high priestess shows up again secrets mysteries um something hidden um something hidden beneath the veil right high priestess is also a very intuitive energy someone that is very their intuition is very strong Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is hidden feelings, um, hidden, um, something hidden emotionally. Let's see what else we get here. What I'm getting here is uh, two very different stories so far. Of course, we're going to know more as we uh, clear um, clarify the energies. But the first scenario I'm getting is that someone their intuition is alerting them. Uh, maybe something feels like a red flag and it's and it's tied to an emotional offer or an apology. What else do we need to know about this Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Six of Cups. So this is, this is all related to the past. The Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn Energy. I feel like there's some something off about the past. Either you're realizing this, um, Libra, or your person's realizing this. But I think that this is all, this has basically alerted someone that a situation is not successful or is never going to be successful with the Six of Wands reverse. There's either a secret that happened here or someone was not, I don't know. It, I feel like this is gonna be a very specific reading because this is tied to the past. It's like with judgment here, Six of Cups. Can I get one more for the Six of Wands reverse? 10 of Wands, yeah. I feel like this was a long time coming. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck here, Seven of Pentacles. There's, uh, you know, and I feel like some of you could have been suspicious of another person in the past because your intuition was telling you that something was off. 
there could be another person involved here, a friend, a colleague, a family member that might be causing issues in a connection or caused issues in the past in a connection. But the Ten of Wands for me as a reader, it takes time to get to this to this overwhelmed, burdened energy. Um, you've collected wands as you go and now it's become too much. But you're almost at the finish line. You're almost home. You're about to drop these these burdens, these, these heavy wands. You're not going to have to carry them anymore. Um, but something very important about the Ten of Wands is these wands are blocking their view. So they can't even see how close they are to being done. It just feels like it's just heavier and heavier and heavier every step that they take. So I feel like something was slowly getting to this point where this is really not going to be successful. This is really not going to work out. There's too many things that have happened, too many things that have been said or too many lies, etc., etc. I feel like someone always like was worried here or wondered with the seven of pentacles, where, how is this going to end up? What about this other person? You know, suspicions, doubts. You could have had these doubts because the high priestess is very intuitive and the high priestess is reversed on your side. So I feel like you uncovered something. Oops, sorry. I keep hitting the tripod where it's right next to me. Okay, tell me about judgment and this five of swords. This is in what you can expect. Tell me about judgment and the five of swords. Why is judgment here? Wow, ten of swords. Yeah, this is going to be the end of a cycle here. Something's ending for good, I feel. I also am getting like someone could feel betrayed, like they were stabbed in the back, taken advantage of. Tell me about, <clears throat> excuse me. Tell me about judgment and the five of swords. What do we need to know about judgment and the five of swords? What do we need to know about judgment and the five of swords? The sun, yeah, something's very clear right now. Something is being illuminated. Can I get one more for judgment and the five of swords? Why is judgment here with the five of swords? Yeah, six of swords. I mean, how clear is that? I feel like you are leaving this behind. Um, I do have justice at the bottom of the deck, your energy. Um, justice is here to make things right, to make things balanced. Um, but I also am getting that someone probably made like a final decision here with justice to leave. They looked at the situation objectively, they looked at the situation logically without emotion. For, for a lot of you, I think this is you, Libra. I feel like you're the one leaving something behind for good. But this could also be the other person you're dealing with. So just take it as it resonates. So what do we need to know about what you can expect? Any insights past energies that have influenced this tell me about the queen of cups reverse tell me about the queen of cups reverse why is the queen of cups reverse eight of swords yeah i feel like someone's been emotionally blocked they're tied they can't see can't move Maybe they, there's just been, you know, emotionally this has taken a toll and all someone can do is just kind of think and think and think about what's happened, how something hurts, how difficult something is. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone working really hard here for something that they have hope in, faith in, or working to heal something. The magician. This is something that someone wants to get done um, with the magician. Yeah, page of pentacles, some sort of offer. So what I'm seeing here, again, I'm getting like two opposing energies. 
Um, or this could be that despite the fact that something is heartbreaking, disappointing, emotionally taxing, someone still has hope that there could be a resolution, that there could be a healing of this situation. And I think this has been like where you were at or where someone was at before all of this happened. It's like there was still kind of hope that you could manifest something, but then judgment brought a ten of swords, five of swords, six of swords, right? And I think it's because the high priestess is here. This is the overall energy of this whole situation. This is the root why everything is happening. So I think the high priestess is very important. It's almost like maybe something was hidden from you until your intuition told you something or maybe something was hidden from you and you figured it out and i feel like maybe maybe you were just hoping that you were wrong or that it wasn't as bad as you thought or that your suspicions were just suspicions it wasn't confirmed So let's get some insight into how you feel about each other or your energies and this other person's energies. Okay, four. Libra. Okay, can I get an in, some insight please into Libra's energy spirit? When it comes to this situation or another person, what do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know? Past life. Memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. Could have been a past life connection, but I think a lot of you are dealing with a person that you just had a past relationship with or a past with, you know, history. There's history here with this person. Bottom of the deck, true love. Maybe this was your true love or you think this is your true love. This is the person that you're meant to be with. But right after that, I have walking away. So you could be walking away from someone you thought was it for you, Libra. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. What about the person that Libra is dealing with, has dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this other person? Mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. What's at the bottom of the deck? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant, and burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. So I feel this person could have kept something from you. Because I, I'm picturing someone that's not open with closed off is someone that's not open or isn't communicating clearly. The passion is there. The chemistry is there. The intimacy is there. But there's they're still closed off. Right behind that, we have wedding bells. Well, I really hope this person isn't married. And that's why they're closed off. Because that would be just icing on the Sunday I just not I just would not be would not be great I want to get a kip or two can I get one more for Libra and this other person now some of you this could be somebody coming in this mirrored souls and maybe you are closed off to this person coming in or you can't see this person coming in. But I think a lot of you, this person is someone you've already, you already have a past with. Um, tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy. Gift number 17. Okay, maybe you're waiting for something, expecting an offer, or this person could be giving you an offer or giving you something here. Tell me about the person Libra is or will be dealing with or has dealt with. What do we need to know about this other person? Journey. 
They're headed somewhere. There's expectation at the bottom of the deck and a message of concern and unexpected income. I think this is somebody who perhaps has kept you waiting, has maybe told you they're on a journey, leaving somewhere, headed somewhere. And I feel like someone's waiting for them on the other side of this. But for some reason, message of concern is telling me that instead of someone arriving, you're just going to get a letter or a message saying, hey, I'm not coming. Or it's going to take longer or something like that. I think what you're waiting for is this person to come to you with an offer or maybe in the past this was what you were waiting for and they didn't arrive. You're still waiting, that kind of energy. Okay, so let me just move these a little bit up here to the side. So let's clarify. Kind of want to be able to see stuff even though I'm clarifying. Okay. We get some insight, please. Oh my gosh, we just split the deck. There's a tower again. Get some insight, please, for Libra. Tell me about strength and the high priestess. Actually, no, let's look at the high priestess reverse first. Spirit, what can you tell me about this high priestess reverse? Why is the high priestess reverse? Four of cups. Why is the high priestess reverse? Why is the high priestess reverse? The emperor, Aries energy. And the fool at the bottom of the deck. King of swords and death. Scorpio energy. I feel like a lot of you are going to become free of something. Because I feel like this king of swords is you. And it's almost like you are breaking free and ending or changing something here. There's an ending here with death and a new beginning with the fool. And this emperor, I feel, is making it happen. This emperor could be how you approach this, or this could be this other person. But with the four of cups, I almost get like someone is going to be disappointed uh not interested closed off to a new opportunity checked out etc etc let's see what this strength card is about why is strength here why is strength here why is strength here Two of Pentacles. So you, I feel, are, are weighing your options, trying to decide something. Tell me about strength. Tell me about. Okay, that was the Six of Pentacles and the Hermit. Virgo energy. You're trying to figure out, yeah, what you're going to do. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you're going to do, and you're probably weighing your options. The Hermit listens to their intuition. I think, let me get one more for the High Priestess Reverse before I say that. Can I get one more spirit for this High Priestess Reverse? Can I get one more? Why is the High Priestess Reverse? Why is the High Priestess Reverse? Ace of Pentacles and then the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. I think this emperor is bringing an ace of pentacles or offering an ace of pentacles but there's something off about it right because i almost get the sense that let's say this emperor is your person let's say they bring you this ace of pentacles right you're not interested for whatever reason and it's probably because they come they make you this offer and then they leave with the chariot 
or they come and they make you this offer. Yeah, there's a three of swords behind that. They come, they make you this offer and something else happens. You figure out something else or you realize something. That's one scenario. Another scenario that I see here is that a lot of you, your intuition was blocked. You were you were not able to see something. That's why the high priestess is reverse. And you were probably confused because you couldn't really see something. So you had to dig deep within yourself with the hermit because something fell off to you or started to feel off to you. I think a lot of you, if you are in that boat where something fell off to you and it's it's because you were already suspicious or already had an idea of what was going on. That's why judgment is here with the five of swords because you got to that point where your eyes were open or you had this realization. And so all of a sudden, all of this is tainted. All of this, that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, I feel like if this is an offer from your person or if this is something that you realized late, you're going to be disappointed no matter what it is or you were disappointed. Let's look at this person you're dealing with. What is this nine of wands reverse and nine of pentacles reverse all about? Well, the nine of pentacles reverse is someone that's not free, not independent, attached to something. So if this person's married, that makes sense. Why is the nine of wands reverse here with the nine of pentacles reverse? The world? Why is the nine of wands reverse with the nine of pentacles reverse? The knight of wands. So this person wants a new beginning. They want to go after something new, but they're waiting around here with the three of wands, king of wands, the chariot. Yeah. Could be dealing with a cancer. This person's waiting, waiting to make this move. Can I get some more insight, please? Why are the nine of wands reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse? Why is the nine of, what can you tell us about these energies? Ah, three of cups. There's some someone else here. There's the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Justice, sleeper energy, your energy. There's someone else here, I feel. For a lot of you, you're dealing with an interruption or an interference, or your person is telling you there's an interference. Now, some of you, okay, there's a two of swords and a two of wands, yeah. This is someone that has not made a decision, cannot make a decision. Seven of wands, yeah, okay. So some of you, I feel like this is a person you've already dealt with and they have probably told you they're gonna do something, but they can't. Realistically, they can't or, um, they're waiting around for others of you i almost see this as someone who could be married right now but this is not someone you know and they're entering into a new cycle but they have other things to wrap up i do see that as well almost like there's someone that's on it their way to you and there will be maybe you meet them at work or at school or through friends or something like that I do see those that, that there's two groups here, but I think a lot of you are dealing with someone who is still attached to something. What you need to know, King of Cups, Page of Cups, Reverse. What can you tell us about this King of Cups, Page of Cups, Reverse? Death, okay. Death shows up again, Page of Cups shows up and the queen of cups wow king and queen here so i'm getting the sense that what you need to know is that someone's coming in to make you some sort of offer or an apology or something like that expressing themselves expressing their emotions to you maybe after something has ended 
But the Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, so you got to be careful. There's something off here. Ten of Pentacles after that. Be careful. That, you know, someone, this Seven of Swords is someone that um, could be sneaky or hiding something or not doing things in the most ethical way. This person doesn't have your best interests at heart, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is kind of just focused on getting away with something, you know? So if someone does come forward, you know, to tell you, you know, I still care about you, I still have, you know, feelings for you, or I'm very sorry, or, you know, please, you know, forgive me, whatever, uh, take that with a grain of salt. Okay, so what do you need to know about what's headed your way or what the future holds? Three of Cups reverse and Knight of Swords reverse. What's this Three of Cups reverse and Knight of Swords reverse about spirit? What's this Three of Cups reverse and Knight of Swords reverse about? The Tower. Holy crap. Libra, no. <laughs> Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse. What's going on here in the near future? Libra, I think there's going to be another tower. Yeah. In the form of communication, information, the truth. Another shocking truth. Poor Libra. The Hierophant is um, after that with the Judgment card. Taurus energy. So there's some sort of truth here that's coming your way. And I feel like you're going to just know even more information. Yeah, there's justice. Wow, look at these energies. Judgment, justice, the Hierophant, the Ace of Swords. Unfortunately, Libra, I feel like there will be a tower that is still on the way here. Something shocking, unexpected in the form of a truth. So brace yourselves. Tell me about the tower. What do we need to know about this tower? Let's see if we get any insight. What do we need to know about this tower? Five of Pentacles. It's going to be difficult. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You're going to find out it's almost like your suspicions might be confirmed twice or you think you know it all and you think you've had all of the realizations you need to have and then something else happens. I wish I had better news for you, but that's just what the cards are saying. What the energy is, you know, expect another tower or something more to happen in this situation. There will be more information that comes out, more clarity, more truth that comes out. So brace yourselves for that. I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Um, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.